When will you and Solar Baka get oiled up together? How do you sit in front of your PC and you write this out, buddy? By the way, Gangplank is broken against Kokmo because my ult destroys that piggy. I think this is a fleet game against Aatrox. It's 10 times easier to play with fleet into the champion. So we go for this. We go for the fleet. You can opt for biscuits, but I like to go for Fuse Market nonetheless. Every move you made, I was watching you. Okay, we're gonna be super careful in this game, guys, because we're playing against Jarv and Aatrox. If I don't have flesh, I cannot play my lane. Whenever the wave is bouncing into the Aatrox, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. I do have a very strong skirmishing jungler myself, so that's good, but yeah. If you would start League right now, which role and champ would you main? If I would start League all the way over, like I, I, am, I have zero mechanics, I would follow my own advice. This is what I would do. Okay. If I would start leak completely fresh, I would play every champion in, in uh, practice two once, in top lane at least. So I get familiar with their abilities. Oh, then, once I have that like base knowledge, I would decide on one champion to main. The easier the champion is, the better. Garen would be my go-to, and I would play Garen for 250 games, studying my matchup, getting matchup knowledge, getting information about runes, items, and, and, and just getting a better feeling. And I would one-trick all the way. Once I have better understanding about my champion, I would start focusing on the fundamentals, because I can play my trade patterns, I know all about that. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna become Faker again. That would be my advice to anybody that wants to play League of Legends. You become a one-trick first, and uh, you gain like a niche in the game, so you get faster experience. And then, uh, is it D-Blade? Cliche or a joke? Okay. I got priority here, but I could get level 3 gang by a Jarvan, which is pretty scary foresight. Preferably, I do a second wave crash here if I can. Why is my throat already hurting two hours into the stream when I haven't streamed for, like, quite a lot of days? For some reason, my, my throat is, like, my voice already kind of stuffed. Just making it worse with everything I say, honestly. But you know, like, when you, if you get sick, you have, like, the feeling in the back of your throat, you know, like, your throat's gonna hurt? That's that's the feeling. I put two points on my Q to have a little bit more presence in lane here. I'm gonna prioritize Qs onto him. Jarvis bot with 12 CS, so I assume he rushed into bot lane here. I can't kill this guy. He lost the cannon, though. We are full chilling in this lane. One caster gives me level 4. He doesn't know when I get the next barrel, so he's scared. I think I should just reset. Actually, no, I'm not gonna reset. Okay, dodge everything. Guys, what I done on my day off is I went to the gym three times. I've been focusing on fixing my sleep schedule. I've gotten much healthier food, which has really gifted me new energy too. And um, I actually worked on my courses. Which was really refreshing. He is passive, so I got a flash. So yeah, there's that. This wave is pretty annoying. I hope he pushes. It just should have recall TP as well. But now he's pushing the wave back into me so I can actually play. Alright, I'm gonna turn back the music on as well. And we're gonna be chilling, holding the wave here. I've just uh, recorded a lot whilst I wasn't streaming. I recorded YouTube videos. And uh, I've been finally taking the time to upload my courses. Because this is something that I've wanted to do for the past four months. And I haven't gotten into it. I delayed it and I kind of made it such a big thing in my head that I don't know. But like, it became a really big thing. But uh, I've gotten four extra videos lined up for the fundamentals course. Again, if you already have access to it, you will get all these updates. And I've started working on the first matchup for the Riven matchup course. So there's that. I've still been productive whilst I took my days off. But I did everything very slow, okay? There's no sustain. He's dead. There's no E, no flash, no Q. Well, that E by Foley was mean. I should have queued faster. Nice. I should have queued faster. I wanted to last it with the Q, but if I queued faster, I could have killed him. Alright, we get perfect reset here with Caulfields. Voice. What does it mean when you say go Gangplank is the most gold efficient champion in the game? There is no champion in the game that gets the same amount of gold income as Gangplank. Oh, I get the kill. Yee! And that is because Gangplank, look, read the passive with me here, okay? Plunder gold. Every time I kill a minion with my Q, I get five extra gold, up to seven. So at level nine, when I have five points in Q, every minion that I kill gives me seven extra gold. But now if I kill a minion, look, I get five extra gold. So I get five gold right there, you see? If I kill a barrel with my Q, and there's minions inside that I kill, I get five gold for every minion that dies with the barrel Q. So Twisted Fate and Gangplank are the only ones that have this passive. But Gangplank has way more wave clear than Twisted Fate. I mean, they're kind of on similar setting, but Gangplank can also go very easy first strike. So now I'll, I'll show you what I mean with, with the Q as well. So here, if I'm going to Q this barrel, the two means that I killed plus 10. So I always get more gold. 
Every wave grants me more gold than my opponent gets from the same wave. Uh oh. He's gonna ult. Okay, he did not. I need to get my reset in with the Essence Reaver. I need to prioritize the Fleet proc on him. Okay. Well, that was a clutch battle. Ooh. Q him for the Fleet. Okay, kill again. And now I'm gonna just push this wave and reset. Oh no. The wave is shit, but if they push this together, I don't mind it. I don't really lose anything. I get Essence Reaver, and now the game is completely fine for me. Because they can never, like, right now, I have a full Essence Reaver, and once you get Essence Reaver on Gangplank, it's basically the biggest spike. I will never run out of mana anymore, that's the first thing, because my Q counts as an auto attack, so I never lose mana, and I can one-shot casters with, with one barrel. So I one-shot waves, kind of. So getting my Essence Reaver this early... Okay, so keep these items in mind, okay? Aatrox is going to recall, he's gonna get a little bit more items. But from here on out, I am confident right now that I will reach three full items before Aatrox reached the second. Keep this in mind, okay? I'll show you guys throughout the game what I mean. I'm gonna slow push this wave, hard push next. The hardest part of the game for me is already done. I'm slow pushing this wave to allow this wave to walk through the lane as well. And I'm gonna push the next wave as fast as possible. So now the next wave is walking through the lane. Now I push it because now I can push the next wave in a comfortable situation too, not under the third, right? Always make a play with the wave. Boom. Okay, so he is... He is t like, he's going for Hydra, right? And now I have infinite sustain with fleet in terms of healing and infinite mana because of my uh, essence river. Which is also a disgusting combination. I go first strike in the free matchups and fleet in the harder matchups. Passive. Barrel, passive. Flash is W. He's gonna fl- Well, the reason I won that fight super easy, first of all, I have a full essence reaper. But also it's because I got two passives. So I had passive before the fight and I hit my passive, then I killed the barrel and hit my passive again. If you get multiple passives during a skirmish, you bet you win the fight. So, yeah, I mean, there's that, and uh, pretty much right now, game over. Jarvan has zero kill participation. I'll stay for one plate, wait for a passive. Watch, if I kill a barrel, your passive resets. So now, barrel, passive, or pa Okay, passive, barrel, passive. There you go. That's a really good cancel. But look, I have passive again, and I'm barrel, and passive again. <laughs> you don't want this fight, buddy. That's what happens when you get double passive by, bar uh, by Gangplank. And it took me, I remember when I started playing League of Legends, like, it took me a long time to know what Gangplank Passive did, but now you know and you know what to look out for, because he can reset his, with his, he can reset his, with his passive, right? And then if you do ba uh, passive, barrel passive, uh, you're just dead. You're dead picky. No counterplay. Yes, sir. He got the cloth armor, I got full boots and double crit cloak. Just wait, I I'll show you. I'll be three items before he gets to, like I said. I've never seen that. Genuinely, like I've seen some weird stuff like Echo Old Randomly One, but that was that was that was new. Hey, what's happening? Get him, Mr. Snatch. Snatch a bass. Okay, goodbye. Uh ah. <laughs> seen that so many times? Is it from the new patch or something? I have never seen this. I have never seen this. Only with like Echo old like randomly like you see his uh what's it called? Like you see his um I don't know like a shadow. I've never seen what the hell this was. I'm so confused. The movement feels so weird. I feel like I'm hallucinating half the game now. But okay, whatever. It is what it is. I'm gonna make a confession, guys. I had no idea there was a BF sword and then I've already quick blades items. What? I've never built the BF sword before Call Fields, I feel like. Okay, guys, I might be getting three items before it gets this first at this at this point. I'm gonna keep farming gold with my passive. I have ult here. Did I bait him? I may have baited him. Yeah, I baited him. Oi, oi, oi. We're just farming. Farming, 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 farming. Oh, look at that. So we get two jungle camps. We get a mid wave. You want mid GP? No, no. Wait, how nice is this Vex? League players like this are legit what, like, deserve a praise, man. He goes, I take his wave. I'm kind of a piece of shit, but I mean, he was roaming, right? And he just goes mid or gangplank. Do you want mid? I'm like, no. He says, okay, no problem, no problem. What a goat. Remember when I said I'll be three items before he hits two, guys? On a I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna be like three items before he hits one.
That's also because I killed him twice, I guess. Ooh, that was nice. That was a disgusting dodge. You said non? Am I French? Je ne parle pas français. Je, je ne parle français. It is really hard to uh, farm with GP in the early game, indeed. And what you need to learn is to be trade avoidant. Oh, that is not good. You are griefing it, my buddy. Oi, oi, oi. Look how much my ultimate did to the choke uh, to the Kogma there still though, and that's only one upgrade. I have my second upgrade now too. I'm gonna one shot this Kogma with my ult this whole game. I have to make sure I land my ult on Kogma every team fight. Guess there's no dashes, right? And AD carry without dashes is like a free target for me. He's like a sitting duck, a little chicken in the cage. Oh, oh, there's all all the homies here. You can still go for the Bruiser build, but I don't think it's that good anymore. I think crit is just superior. In the past, I just like death sense. Like, I, I love to play Bruiser GP when you could go like um, Trinity Force, death sense, maul. But first of all, they've removed all the ability haste from those items. So in that regard, it's already pretty inefficient. And uh, I feel like the items are like not that good on Gangplank anymore. There's still probably some games where Bruiser GP is good. Maybe against champions like Trinimer, for example, right? Where you don't really need damage, you just need more survivability. But in, in most scenarios, I think crit is just is superior. Okay, Kogma not having flesh, it's like a death sentence for him against my champion, by the way. Like, Kogma not having flesh, I'm gonna time that. It's gonna be minute 25. Oh, I got a kill too, why not? So it's gonna be 25 AD, and the game is basically over. If Kogma does not have flesh, he can never, never escape my ultimate, right? It's 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 so disgusting for him to play against Gangplank. Is there any other AD carry? Oh, what the hell? I just took that. Bro, I didn't even want to kill him. Bro, I just wanted to clear the wave. Okay, I told you I'd be three items before he hits two. Make it four. Make it four. But I also killed him a few times, right? That's just the thing. If he kills on Gangplank and farm, yeah, it's just gonna be GG. A little bit GG. Yeah, I just accidentally one-shot him. You know, a little bit of uh, passive income on that guy. Wait, he actually gap closes or what? I think my team should have also helped me though. Dude, I almost have my third ult upgrade at minute 24. That's why I'm so rich as well. I mean, we can't play for this if my team isn't here. Guys, one thing I will say though about me as a coach, right? Or like an educational player. I feel like I can make a lot of sense about concepts in the game. But one thing I'll, I'll be very honest about, I'm really bad with understanding items and like how items function and like p item passes and shit like this. That's definitely my uh, my uh, worst uh, thing as a, as a coach. I'm gonna keep pushing here. I need to pull somebody to top lane. You should have flashed on the Kogma, I would have ulted. All right, I ult. I'm gonna push. My ult is killing the Kogma pretty much, right? Very good. It's so disgusting that I can just be on sideline and still have so much impact. I don't think my team needs me. Guys, okay, so remember, in terms of tempo, if enemy team is dead, you have tempo over them, because they're dead. If your team can do a neutral objective without your help, use the tempo to do something else. Like the right buff, and a turret. Ring ring. Alright guys, we're full build before this guy gets two items. That's kind of disgusting, though. No? I said I'd be two it uh, three items before he has two. I'm gonna be full build before he has two. They have effed. That's sad. I was about to have fun. I got it! Yes! Full build before he has two items. Well, there you go! That's Gangplank. Highest gold income champion in the game. For your information, we issued another player in one of your recent games a penalty for boosting texture. It has to be the Ash. It has to be the Ash.